Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your cowboy hats and make sure your belt buckles done up tight because we're about to go on a bucking bronco of a journey. You see, we're facing the great beef drought of 2023, a time when the burger patties are shrinking faster than a cheap cotton shirt and hot water. It seems our cattle ranchers have been playing a bit too much of the popular video game Cut the Herd due to the unforgiving drought, high demand, and skyrocketing prices that make the cost of a new pair of cowboy boots seem like chump change. So saddle up, folks. We're in for a meaty tale that'll make you wish you invested in the cow you saw on Craigslist. At this rate, even the vegetarians are going to miss the bee. All right, prepare yourself for a rib-tickling tale of cowboys, cows, set in the American pasture land. Just picture it as you can see it. Let's set the scene for you. The U.S. beef barons are chopping their herds faster than a hibachi chef on Saturday night, setting the stage for a beef showdown big enough to make your barbecue shiver. You see... A prolonged no-rain parade has forced these ranchers to downsize their bovine buddies, ushering in a looming beef apocalypse. Desmond Simple, a chap wearing the hat of principal economist at Farm Credit, elaborates while trying not to moo in despair. You'd think the wholesale cattle walk to the slaughterhouse would result in a beef price drop. But given our current climate of high demand and inflation, the opposite is happening. The price of your favorite steak is skyrocketing like a bovine on a space mission. I bet the cows didn't see that coming when they voted for inflation at the last barnyard election. Hey, you got me? Stuart Smith, an associated professor with the fancy title of Agricultural Bioresearch Specialist, has a lot in one word, highlights that in 2022, farmers sold more cattle than a cowboy at a bovine beauty pageant. Sadly, they weren't just trying to become the new cattle king, but scrambled to feed their hungry herds. When it comes to filling the feed, though, the U.S. usually looks north, but last year Canada was wrestling with the same feed famine, says Dennis Leecraft, U.S. Cattle Association VP and part-time cowboy poet. The important route seems to be as clogged as a cowboy's arteries after a beef barbecue. But you see, the cattle producers aren't strangers to crisis. They chew them up and spit them out like tough jerky. However, multiple back-to-back -back years of drought are turning the cattle paradise into a dust bowl, forcing though decisions and sleepless nights on the ranch. Mr. Smith, with a urgence in his voice, stressed that right now two-thirds of the U.S. cattle crowd is residing in a drought-stricken zones leading to great cattle reduction not seen in six decades. It's as if the bovine world is experiencing its own version of the Thanos snap, only without the spandex and cancy one-liners. Here's where the plot gets thicker than a cowboy's stew. As the cattle numbers dwindle, the short-term beef boom would eventually fade, making the beef aisle at your local store look as bare as old McDonald's farm on vacation. In a twist of irony, as the ranchers sent fewer cattle to slaughter while attempting to regrow their herds, the supply shank further. So brace yourselves, beef lovers. Our tale may have started on a light note, but it seems we're headed towards a beefy cliffhanger here. Shane Anderson, a seasoned rancher from Toner, who's been steering cattle longer than most of us have been steering shopping carts, had to reduce his herd by a lot in 2022. 
He muscles. It's been tougher than shoe leather out there, and I didn't want to be caught between a cow and a hard place. Quote, unquote. Fast forward to the present times, and things aren't getting any better, with the feed prices skyrocketing and pastures drying up like a cowboy's wit in mid-bay sun, many are forced to sell their herds. Ken Brandit, a cow care field specialist, draws attention to the surging numbers of cows entering the moving sale. Now... Here's the bad news, folks. Even though we've been laughing our way through this yarn, the truth is the situation as grim as a steer at a barbecue cook-off. This drought mixed with inflation is hitting the ranchers like a ton of hail bays. Unless Mother Nature decides to let the waterworks loose, we're heading for a beef shortage that'll make a veggie burger look appetizing. The moral of the story here is, well, if you got a hankering for some beef, you better stock up while you can. At this rate, we're about to witness the great beef drought of 2023. The stakes, or I should say stakes, have never been higher. Well, folks, it seems we're about to enter a world where beef becomes elusive as a vegetarian at a barbecue. As we head into this meat deficit twilight zone, just remember, tofu might not be the most tantalizing option, but it's still better than a beefless reality. So here's to hoping that Mother Nature leads a helping hand that rains return and our beef is saved from becoming the filet mignon of the food world. The expensive luxury item until then, dust off your grills, get your last steaks on the coals, and let's bid a temporary adieu to our bovine friends with the reverence they deserve. After all, as the old saying goes, you don't know what you got until it's gone. And boy, we will miss our burgers. So long, folks. And remember, in these meat deficient times, chicken is always an option. Unless, of course, there's a poultry apocalypse on the horizon that we don't know about. But that's a story for another day. Y'all stay safe and keep prepping. Survival Preparedness for Beginners, I'm out.